Hey everyone, it's Linksy, and welcome back to Niche! It has been such a long time- oh, what is this? What's our Eve have this time? Let's see. Oh wow, this Eve is actually super cool. Okay, she's got a fishing tail, web time legs, which I'm not very fond of, but um, I, at least we've got some poison things like really in there. So let's invite her to our tribe. But um, I know it's been quite a while everybody. I apologize for it taking so very long for me to uh, bring Niche back onto the channel. Honestly, that was not the intention. Um, <laughs> I think it's really, really like funny, but also very sad that I I just kind of refused to, uh, to, you know, play Niche for like a year, I think. Um, and there's a very good reason for it. Um, I don't know if it's the best reason, but it's my reason. Which is that I got very tired of the game. I got really tired of playing. I got very tired and annoyed of, um, oh my goodness, look at you. You are so cute. You have all these really nice yellow, yeah, mustard yellowish fur mar uh, markings from your mother, I think. Probably. I oh, know your dad, actually. He's got the yellow fur. Okay, I see. Unfortunately, her sight is absolutely terrible. Um, <laughs> but she doesn't have the, 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 um, home island immunity, so that's okay. Uh, well, I know it's been just so long since then, and there, there really, there really isn't too much of a reason other than I got tired of just playing this and only this, which is kind of what it ended up being, uh, like for a while. <laughs> I wasn't very happy about, oh my goodness, we have twins and they're both boys. Oh, okay. Alright, well it looks like um, Tavan is actually kind of the greater twin here with that um, because of his eyesight. However, Nuta is not terrible either. He just has that eyesight hidden and is recessive. So he's actually very good and he's got the poison things, which I would love to keep. I'm loving their markings, by the way, as well. Like, the markings kind of look like a weird little cricket. I guess we have a cricket tribe then. <laughs> So let's go ahead and make sure that we gather as much food as possible. And uh, back to my explanation as to why I've not like really been present when it comes to um, niche anymore was that I just got supremely tired of playing it. <laughs> like I said, it's not a great reason. It's not even the best reason. It's not a good reason. But I got very tired and annoyed of just this being my only thing and I got burnt out very quickly after a while. So. Because of that, I was just like, you know what, I'm kind of done with it all, I'm not playing it anymore, and as much as I loved the, <laughs> loved, as much as I love the creators and everything, I just was not ready to devote all of my time again to this, you know? So, <laughs> that was kind of my problem, where I was just like, I don't want to spend so long uh, again on here, it's just, it was not... It was fun for the first while, and then for a while I'm just like, I got very, not bored, but um, as I said, just burnt out. Like, oh shoot, I didn't mean to like actually take all of that from her. Well, looks like we're staying an extra day on the island then. That's okay. Let's hope that uh, Eve doesn't get hurt by that. I learned that those coconuts will hurt you, um, so that's not fun. <laughs> If anything, I think it might be Nuta that might- or who is this? He might get hit by one. Tavan, sorry. Tavan. I'm so very close to the first born being Nuta. Well, second born, really. Um, to being that name, so I, I just can't remember anything anymore. But yes, it's been quite a while, my darlings. How are you cubs doing today? I'm hoping very well. But if not, um, I hope it gets better. Let's see. Let's go ahead and have him swim- swim once, go back, and we'll go to our new island. Yes. So, <laughs> that would be my reasoning, but I know that they added so much into the game that I was like, okay, I want to do, I want to try Adam's Trial again, but um, better. <laughs> A lot better. So it looks like we're going to go over here to the right, I guess? I've never had my island separated like this, I don't think. I'm quite sure that, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's been a little, <laughs> a little while. Um, as I said, not really what I wanted to do, but um, 
eventually I was just kind of like, you know what, we're going to go back in this, and I'm actually very happy that we're back here. And I really, I think I really do prefer Tavan, um, verse over his brother, Nuta. Nuta might have the poison fangs and everything, but overall, I just think that his brother is a little bit better just because he's also got the digging paw, which he does not. So that might create a little bit of a resentment uh, between them, but I mean, we gotta make sure that the family's safe. <laughs> like, that's that's the biggest thing here, so. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna find a nest, so we might as well just plop a nest down for now until we find out something better. And Tavan, I think, doesn't have any issues over there, but just in case, we're gonna go ahead and put Nuta with some uh, with better eyesight. And I think Kokoana. Co Kokoana, there we go, Moana. <laughs> We're gonna do the same with Kokoana, but hers are gonna be full of eyesight, just to make sure. I think she can actually mate. Yes, she can mate with the boys, but I would prefer not her. But we might we might have to if we get stuck uh, in this, which is kind of looking like what might happen here. Let's hope not, but fingers crossed on that. <laughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and also try and go this way. So I want to make sure that we gather up a lot of grass as well. There doesn't seem to be much food. Oh, oh, oh never mind. There's food like right here. Okay. We don't have a cracker jaw, unfortunately, and it'd be easy to go on this over there, but I think that might bring us back to our old island. So normally it's always to like the right that you want to keep going on here. I might be wrong. It's been a while. It has definitely been a while. Let's go see this uh, little guy here. So this is Rokiro. Um, he's basically just that perfect mix between his older brothers. Okay, so he, he's just kind of alive. <laughs> he exists in this realm, in this mortal plane. But uh, not much else to be said about him. And that's okay though. Alright, I think we had a lot of roots over this way. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of fill up this family a little. Let's see, there's a root. There's a root. Yay! Alright, gotta get some lot of food in here. Oh, and a lot of rain. That's nice. So all this rain is definitely supremely helpful for us. And we'll use you. And we'll use Adam to kind of go around here. And is there any more roots? There is one more. Okay, and we'll bring Eve back over here. All the while, our explorer, which is Tavan, is just kind of minding his own business, trying to make our way over to the right instead of the left, even though the left is a little bit easier for us. Oh, I thought I mated you two. Oops. <laughs> well, I might have accidentally not done so. Noted for future reference that I kind of missed that a lot. And let's go ahead and actually bring Rokiro uh, over here as well. Oh, we have a permanent nest now. Good job, Rokiro. All right, so that means we can move Eve all the way over there at least. So we have a nice place to put her. And maybe we'll have, um, you know, Tavan, who is probably going to be our next king, or, you know, our next leader at least, um, here. And we'll try and hit the, the, the berry bushes as well, just to make sure. So let's see now. They do have the peacock tail hidden away, which I don't know what the attractiveness does. I guess it would bring new leashlings to you. Um, at least they have the ram horns hidden away and big ears. And if I have to breed for those big ears, I, I do not mind. <laughs> I would be happy to do so. Um, just because I really love the big ears. They're one of my like favorite, I think, things about the game. Let's go ahead and put you Nuta right here. Let's try to figure out what his name was for a second. Oh no. Alright. Is there anything else around here? No. Let's go ahead and... Well, we can leave Tavon here, actually. He'll go ahead and gather. And we can let um, Eve come right here. And see if we can... Oh, there is something. Do that. Do that. And we have another little guy. We might be stuck with males this time around. Which means we definitely have to have... Kokoana probably meet with Tavan if we don't find um, someone else to lead our new tribe here. We have one, two, three, three, six, seven. So we have one, seven, uh, seven nichelings altogether, which means we can probably bring up a couple more. Not too bad, not too shabby. Let's do that. All right, little fella, why don't you walk right here? And thankfully, we don't have that much of an eyesight problem anymore, so that's good. 
and let's go ahead and do that. Put Nuta over here. I don't, I'm still sh very sure that Nuta's uh, very resentful of his older brother. Or, well, I don't know about older, but his brother. Just because, um, you know, they were together. That was their kind of their thing. Where uh, they should have just been on equal footing, but it didn't seem like the Nishling gods were happy about that idea. Nuta, I mean, Teven is the rightful heir, I suppose, for the throne here. <laughs> and I just, I simply cannot speak today either. Yikes. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get Eve pregnant one more time before uh, they end up dying off. We'll just do that with her last one, and we will bring you. Ooh, nice. I think we got some food there. Yes, we did. Tavan is just kind of chilling out. He's just getting berry bushes. He doesn't mind everything else. We are, we're almost at 100 food as well, so that's really great. This family, although tiny, are pretty specialized in- Ooh, I think someone's got- No, you don't have the big ears either. You just have a very big snout. Very big snouts. Okay. Um, he does have the webbed hind legs, so that's an interesting one. I don't think anybody else has that in their recessives. So, let's see. Put that there. And Devan, since you are pretty well off otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and put nimble fingers on you. And um, I think we'll just kind of keep it at that for now. I, I want to try and do it one more time, but I'm a little bit worried, as you never know what will end up happening with our nichelings. Sometimes they do just die a little bit beforehand. And, oh, something just ate. <gasps> it's a nicheling. It's, it's a female nicheling. I saw that. How are we gonna get to her though? She's gonna run away and we don't really have the ability to go and see who she is yet. So I think we'll just kind of move. <gasps> there she is! Raiz! Oh my goodness, she is gorgeous! Oh no, do you have a no paw? No, it's right there. Okay. <gasps> oh, I was a little bit worried there. She has the cracker jaw hidden away. She's got ram horns. Sh oof. Her fertility though is literally non-existent that's a problem. We might not marry her off to Tavan. Um, we might marry her off to instead of Nuro here. As he's a he's a pretty big boy. He's a pretty good boy. Otherwise, Raiz doesn't have that much issues. She, she also has uh, uh, albinism. Albinism? I was gonna say ableism for a second. Hello. Alright. Um, and she's got the antenna headed in a way as well, so that's interesting. We just have to make sure that we don't lose her, but I know we're just about to because I am going to go and fix up the grass here and slowly move everybody around. Um, so that's going to stink. But we'll get to her. We'll find her eventually. I just want to make sure that we don't... There she is. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that we didn't end up accidentally losing her completely because that would really, really, really be terrible. Alright, so with that, we have nine nichelings now, so we can probably have one more baby with Eve and Adam. Uh, if Adam has life, no, he doesn't. Adam does not have any more days, but that's okay. We're able to just sneak one more child out of him. Whew, that would have been really sad um, if we couldn't go ahead and complete the ten here. So we'll do that, and I think, Nuta, you can go ahead and attack this, and your sister, Kokoana, will help you. They're basically twins. That's really cute. Right, and you can go ahead and get some grass and everything. We're still getting some more grass just to make sure everybody's okay. So it looks like we're maybe we're heading into a jungle here. So that's a little bit scary. But um, let's go ahead and end the episode here. And then we'll kind of see where we will go from here. We're slowly losing out on food because we have so many nichelings. But I'm sure we'll fix that up. And maybe we can find the perfect mate for Raiz. Though I think she might even split and splinter off from the pack with uh, Nuro over here. It's quite possible. <laughs> Alright guys, well then, I'll see y'all next time. Bye everybody!